Okay, a lot of people have asked for a tutorial on how I did the exploding uh, ice text uh, motion graphic in Motion 5. The first stage is to uh, create some uh, textured text. Let's say, let's call this text group. Let's change the name. Inside that, we um, put in some text. So let's say ice cold. Okay. Now we select text properties. Um, they're all black is fine. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's change the size of my viewer so I can see everything. At the moment, I'm a bit zoomed in, so I don't know where in the page I am. So let's take that. Let's align its center, and let's take the origin and let's put that central as well okay so oh, bigger than that yeah yeah I can see that better okay now plain text is a little bit boring so we want to uh, give it some kind of texture now I've downloaded this. What I've got here is uh, an image I got off a free wallpaper site. Uh, make sure your source images are definitely copyright free. Um, so I put that into my media browser. Then I can put that behind the text layer I want to want you to do is use my text layer as um, a kind of stencil so let's do stencil out for on the blending mode on the text layer and what this will do is it will um, show only the parts of the background that are common with the text so or yeah this is a bit of a nice nicer look however it still looks a bit artificial so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the background image until I get something I like oh yes that I like that okay and then to the text group, I'm going to add a filter. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of glow, uh, and the type of glow I'm going to use is aura. Now, even with the default settings, it looks even better still. So, uh, but we can we can improve that. Let's mess with the outer radius. Yeah, and let's mess with the brightness. And let's mess with the inner radius. Okay, there we go. Um, a bit more brightness, a bit less brightness. What do we do? Okay. So, so that's the first part. Um, making our text look a bit atmospheric and icy. So let's zoom in. We can see close up that's going to look really good. Okay, uh, we could do a few other things like change the color temperature slightly, make it a bit more bluey. So, and in, in part two, I will then show. Um, how to make this disintegrate into um, a lot of shards of uh, similar looking material.